Okay, so we developed, for this reason, we developed the IRIS Safety Program. It stands for Immediate Recognition Increases Safety. It uses alert logos, uh, a triangle, an alert triangle with a puzzle piece in the center to indicate autism or the yield sign with a brain floating in hands to indicate other brain disorders or neurologic disorders. We use a membership program to house the emergency information and uh, a 24 hour hotline in order to help be there in an emergency. We ask for members to give us three emergency contacts and their phone numbers, uh, their demographic information address, who they live with, uh, their parents or guardians information, and then also what behavioral characteristics they have, language, speech, nicknames, sensitivities, cognitive challenges, whether they have hearing sensitivity or sight, if their disposition when they come across someone new is combative or if they're withdrawn. And it includes some things of if, what things make them upset and what things will calm them down. The medical information, maybe they have seizures, maybe they have um, other medical information, they may have diabetes or they may have added schizophrenia or bipolar, but having that information available so that if they are taken to the hospital, we have that information to share is good. Insurance information, if you don't have it with you or you're unconscious and the child has to be taken to the emergency room, then that information can be housed as well. When they join, it is free. And we also send the member uh, to their local law enforcement and fire department. We send a letter giving them the member's name, address, and asking them to put it in their computer-aided dispatch system so that when a call goes out, if it, your address pops up, it also will pop up that there's a child with autism there or there could be a mother with Alzheimer's there. But the information would pop up and give first responders a heads up. We also can refer to Project Lifesaver. Project Lifesaver is an international uh, nonprofit organization started by a police officer that actually uh, focuses on finding those that run away or elope, Alzheimer's as well as autism are the two highest uh, incidences of their use. They actually um, work with the local police officers and not every police uh, station or department has taken part in it, but they utilize a radio frequency system and a bracelet, an uh, anklet bracelet. Um, and then the officers have to come out twice a year and change the batteries, but uh, they can use a drone as well to help find the child if they wander. And then the free app that I spoke about, Life360, is um, available to help find them as well. Then Autism FYI, we created another free app that has originally for those law enforcement officers, but can be used by anyone. It has information about what autism is, so it gives them characteristics. It also has um, picture language, uh, tips on how to handle someone with autism, Miranda rights made easy, and um, a link to our 24-hour hotline. There's also five keys to de-escalation. So if an officer has never had to de-escalate someone on the autism spectrum who's having a meltdown, the tips are right there on how to do that. And then of course, training. We offer training um, online for free to police officers. We've housed it on firstforward.com. And um, also we have a site for those with autism and help provide training for them on autismiddtraining.org.